I spoke in the past of how important it is to learn how to negotiate. No matter what you do in life, you're buying a car, a house, getting a new job, being offered a new position, starting a business, no matter what it is, knowing how to negotiate is essential. And it's one of those extremely important skills that all of us should work on improving every single year. Prerequisite or a building block to being a good negotiator is doing your research, doing your homework beforehand. If you're coming to buy a car, know what the true value is, what the market value is of that vehicle is. Know what they're being sold for in that area. Know what the other five dealers are selling it for and what kind of deals and promotions they have. So when you walk in, you are armed and ready and educated to negotiate. And know what your bottom number is, right? You're not going to go below that or above that, depending on what it is, whether you're buying or selling. And stick to it. Try not to get emotionally involved in the negotiations. Because the first person that shows their hand and gets all hot and bothered is generally the one that loses in the end. So always stay cool, calm and collected and focus on the value and whenever possible, win-win situation and environment for both parties, right? So you can't, I mean, you have to be honest and realistic. You can't expect and should not expect to have 70% of the upside. Why would the other person do, the, do business with you if they only get 30%? Right? Unless you are putting in 70% of the money and if you're going in partnership and so forth. But if you're buying a product or, or, or service or selling a product or service, a home, a car, a business, consulting services, coaching services, you have to know what is fair market value for whatever it is that you're offering or that you're buying and have a little bit of freedom to move up or down, but don't chase deals for the sake of closing a deal because there's always another deal out there don't close it today there will be another one tomorrow or in a week or in a month so focus on doing your homework educating yourself in the area that you're about to go into negotiations on and don't agree to anything and everything just because it's in front of you a perfect example is if you're leaving a a business or an organization and you're going somewhere else, you should go to something, not away from something, right? Find your next chapter or your next book in life and make it appealing. Make it something you really, really, truly want to do, not something you want to run away from. Because if you're going away from this to first thing that comes your way, that's not going to be long term either. That's not going to be sustainable and you're not going to be happy and you're going to be end up you know, making the change or shift again a lot sooner than you would have liked or you anticipated. So don't chase deals blindly. Educate yourself. Do your homework and do your research. And always remain cool, calm, and collected and in control. No matter how you feel on the inside, the other side only knows what you show them. Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. Share this video with your friends and let me know what is the most important or the biggest negotiation you have completed successfully or not this year? Have a great day.